Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be doing a walk to a popular graffiti wall that's here in North Philly. Right now we're at Norris and American Street. We're going to make this right hand turn on Norris Street. We're a few blocks away from this graffiti wall. It's starting to drizzle. We're capturing footage in 8K resolution, 8K Ultra HD, which you are now watching downsized to 4K for your viewing pleasure. It's about 67 degrees right now. Cloudy day. We're passing the 2000 block of Boldine Street. Now on this block is where Rockefeller rapper P.D. Crack shot a music video. He was once signed to The Rock. This is his hood. This is P.D. Crack's hood. He had a lot of music videos, a lot of interviews, a lot of content online. This is where he was from. This is the park that he used to hang at. I know his family, to my knowledge, is still in the neighborhood. We're at 3rd and Norris. On our left, this whole entire block used to be a scrap yard. But they bought it out, cleared it out, and it's been just sitting for the last almost two to three years. All right, we're about to pass Oriana. I'm gonna make this left hand turn and I'm gonna show you guys a block that has tons and tons of new houses. And I once walked through here, I was capturing footage actually in a previous vlog a couple years ago and somebody was just gunned down right here, right here on the sidewalk. Somebody was gunned down. And minutes before that happened, I just passed through here on footage. When I came back, I saw all the cops and all the ambulance and everything. I'm like, what? It's crazy. But these people who are moving to these new houses will probably never know that somebody was gunned down right there on that corner. All of these houses are new. Now you can tell which ones are the original ones, which is the two-story row home ones you see right here. You see the stucco front? Stucco front, but these new ones, they're a lot taller. And you can see the materials. They try to modernize them. You can see they made new houses back there too. So this block used to be empty, but now the original residents have a whole bunch of new neighbors. Look at they got a new neighbor on the left and the right because that purple house is an OG house. That purple house, that's one of the original ones. We're approaching Burks. Burks side. Directly in front of us, you have Phila Abundance. They provide uh, food resources, to my knowledge. All right, we're approaching 4th and Burks Street. These houses on my right-hand side are relatively new also. We're about a block and a half away from the graffiti wall. This is a popular wall that many Philadelphia graffiti artists come to. And... They'll paint it over again and again and again. They'll buff it out and then they'll put something new on it. A couple months later, they'll come, paint over it, put something new on it. It's been like that for years. And it's on a main street. So if you're coming from New Jersey and you're coming down Fifth Street, you would see this automatically as soon as you're driving to North Philly. These houses are new. 
As you can see, they already uh, spray painted on the side of the house. Same thing with those over there. Those are new. There's a couple new ones on that block. You can see all the new homes. I shot a music video right here. Shout out to Burke's side crew, you know, Boulder Raw and his whole squad. Shot a music video right out here with Bold. We're at Burks and Lawrence. You got Freak KMD. Kings of Mass Destruction, Bowser, Bam, Sniper, Sax. You got an Enzo right here, and you got a Will. Directly in front of us, we're traveling westbound on Berks. If you went up a couple more blocks, you'll hit Temple University campus, which is located in North Philly. Let's make this left-hand turn on Fifth Street. Now, it's known that this corner, there's a lot of accidents right out here. From bus to regular vehicles, a lot of accidents on this corner. Just past a little juice business, that's new. And you have like a little fitness center. They're putting a new property right here too. This was an empty lot. And look at they're building something brand new. All right guys, so we're coming up on this popular graffiti wall. Go Phillies! Y'all see that? Go Phillies! The SEPTA bus coming up 5th Street. We're on 5th Street right now. We're traveling southbound on 5th Street. The SEPTA bus had to go Phillies because they're doing really well right now. To my knowledge, I'm not a sports enthusiast, so I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon. But I do know from word of mouth, they're saying that all of Philadelphia's teams are doing really good right now. So it's looking like a really groovy year for, for Philly. And... With that in mind, what do you think that's going to do? That's going to bring more residents. And they're going to sell a lot of houses because a lot of people like to be a part of a winning city. Surprisingly, believe it or not, a lot of people like to be a part of a winning city. Something about it. Look at Lucas. That says Lucas. And he spray painted on the brand new. <laughs> he spray painted on the brand new property. All right, guys. We're on 5th and Montgomery Ave. We're about to walk around this whole block. Now, when I was traveling across the country and I hit all 48 states in 10 months, a few months ago, I, I recall watching the news. They recommended a Philadelphia news segment to me. And the homie Tame, T-A-M-E, he's a Philadelphia graffiti artist also, he hosted an event here that was women-led a lot of Philadelphia female graffiti artists came down here and it was on the news and they did some murals and it was cool because it was all women doing murals you know you don't really see a lot of women you wouldn't think to see women with a spray can in their hand but in this case for the arts it happens it was down here down there you see down there it's like a little area where they have tables it's like a little venue area which is something that they just uh rehabilitated and they repurposed it so the artwork right here look at that see how that's faded got the Puerto Rican flag and you got the sewing factory or sewing factory I should say they turned that into a loft like most other uh, buildings around here that are old, vacant, they tend to turn them into lofts. Hell yeah. Greetings. Okay, we got some more artwork back there. Derm. Look at all over that building. They cover that joint. To my knowledge, there was more walls back here too, but they knocked a lot of it down because when they began gentrifying the neighborhood, they began buying out all the property that surrounded this wall. 
So a lot of the artwork's gonna get lost. Look at this. Look at the detail. Looks like a Native American. Oh snap, it looked like a Native Indian fighting some type of predator thing, doesn't it? Cash. Cash did his thing. Busta. Yeah, Busta and Cash. They did their thing. Look on top of that factory. There's artwork right up there. This is dope. Look at the art. See the Indian? And if you look down, you'll see years and years of test paint. They usually test on the ground. A gone. Homeboy, that's dope. Look at this wall over here. I'm gonna try to step back a little further just so that you guys can get a good view because I know we're at a closer capture field right now. We're capturing in 8K, 24 frames per second. Wow, look at that. Isn't that the Cookie Monster? The dudes from Sesame Street? Ooh, that's dope. SZ. Look at this. Ah, real monsters. That is sick, bro. That is sick. Look at Mr. Eve. You did your thing there, buddy. That is phenomenal. Oh, man. My childhood memories just got revived. Yes. Right there, bro. I watched that cartoon growing up. Look at the colors. Cash. Cash is nice with it, too. Yo, that is an awesome wall right there. Right? Look at that over there. You see that big giant face over there? You see it? Oh, man. Look at this. Sheesh. Yo, these guys got talent. And then I dislike when people do stuff like that. It's like, bro, like respect the artwork, bro. Like you didn't need to do that with your marker. It had to be a kid, a teenager to do that. Yeah, look at that. A lot of nice uh, colors. The colors is what really makes them pop. And the thing about this, guys, is what you're capturing right now is history because come back in seven months, it's going to be all gone. So you guys are literally seeing history. And like I said, this has been used for many music videos and many documentations. And there's always different artwork in all those different music videos. So, it's nice. So right now we're at the corner. Fifth and Cecil will be more. Look at that wall right there. Now look at this wall over here. And there's a legal spot. A legal spot. You don't got to worry about getting in trouble when you come over here. As long as you do something professional and tastefully and you don't disrespect the artist that was already there. You know, and you don't come and go over something that was just put there. You know, give it some time to rock out. Give it six, several months. Because look how much detail they put into this, guys. With spray cans. Wow. Wow. Phenomenal. And I don't know if it's the 8K or what, but these colors are rocking, bro. <laughs> These colors are vivid. The creativity is just sensational. Look at that. It looks like some type of Greek god, dude. Some type of king, dude. You see his, what's that, like an eight pack? See the detail in his rib cage? Wow. Look at that, guys. And I like the backgrounds, the details they put into the backgrounds. You can see like the demon little things flying around. It looks awesome. Look at this, it's like serpents. Kind of like snake type serpents, you see it? Wow, look at that guys. And as you can see, the new residents come in and they enjoy. They enjoy the fruits of the urban labor. The urban graffiti artists put the uh, artwork there. There used to be a big giant big pun over there, but, uh, but the wall got knocked down because they put all these lofts in these uh, apartments and homes. The, this whole block's new. And this factory, was an original factory, but they repurposed it. And now they got little eateries out here, the human robot, little outdoor streeteries where you literally sit next to the street. And look at they, they out there eating now, you see them? Out in the rain. Yeah, guys, so, and back here, there's more graffiti, but you can't really see it from over here. And there used to be more walls back here, but they knocked a lot of them down, guys. Anybody who knows, knows. Look at this giant face right here on Sutton's Fine Food and Spirits open every day. 1706 North 5th Street. Visit www.suttonsphilly.com. Look at that. That's tough, right? This used to be, to my knowledge, at one point, I remember seeing a bunch of skaters in here. 
it was like a little half pipe in there. And skaters used to come in there and uh, do tricks and hang out. Look at this RD1 CRV RD1 with the with the mud and tires, the beefy tires. Yeah, the females in the new segment were down here painting. I guess they already went over the female stuff too. Surprising, because they just put it there a couple months ago. I believe Team Arts led the project. And they were featured on the news. Yeah, so you guys got a chance to at least check out the spot. Like I said, it's about, I would say five to six minutes away from the 95. It's about three minutes away from the Benjamin Franklin Bridge coming from Jersey. So you can get here relatively easy if you want to take photos or check it out before it's gone. Because who knows if they sell that corner and then that'll just be another piece of, uh, you know, Philadelphia history. <laughs>